the Department of State and embassies are still having huge backlogs and visa processing delays. The situation is slightly better compared to last two years. The embassies and consulates may now enter a phased resumption of visa services. As resources allow, embassies and consulates will continue to provide emergency and mission-critical visa services and will resume routine visa services as local conditions and resources allow. In this video we will provide the operating status of the U.S. embassies situated across the world as of August 10, 2022. This is a sudden feature with your questions to see how best we can help you out your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Now, let's get into the video and look at the latest updated from U.S. embassies around the world. For Philippines, U.S. Embassy Manila has resumed all routine visa services. Wait times for interviews are long, except for immediate relatives. For non-immigrant visas, the embassy is prioritizing applicants with urgent travel needs. For Mexico, visa services are limited and vary by city. Applicants should expect long wait time. For United Kingdom, the U.S. Embassy in London and the U.S. Consulate in Belfast currently are open for emergency non-immigrant visa services only. They have not resumed routine visa services, including tourist visa services. Immigrant visa appointments are available but limited. For Dominican Republic, the U.S. Embassy in Santo Domingo is now interviewing all categories of immigrant visa. Limited routine work and student visa services have resumed. The Embassy has resumed in-person interviews for tourist visa applicants whose interviews were cancelled on March 13, 2020. For Thailand, the U.S. Embassy and Consulate General in Thailand has resumed routine non-immigrant and immigrant visa services. Applicants are also able to renew their visa by mail. For Brazil, the U.S. Embassy and Consulates in Brazil has resumed routine non-immigrant visa appointments. National interest exceptions are no longer required to enter the U.S. Immigrant visa services are available but wait times are long. For Nigeria, the U.S. Embassy in Abuja and Consulate General in Lagos are offering limited non-immigrant and immigrant visa services. For Colombia, the U.S. Embassy Bogota has suspended routine non-immigrant visa operations. Immigrant visa services are available, but limited. For India, the U.S. Consulate has reopened the visa appointments for all the categories. But because of high demand, wait time remains significant. If someone needs to travel to the U.S. urgently, they might try obtaining emergency appointment requests. For China, regular visa services have resumed at U.S. Embassy Beijing and the U.S. Consulates General in Guangzhou and Shenyang. The Shanghai office is currently closed. Visa applicants should schedule their interviews with Beijing, Guangzhou or Shenyang. All consular services at U.S. Consulate General Chengdu have been suspended until further notice. For Ukraine, the U.S. Department of State has suspended consular services at the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv due to the Russian invasion. The State Department has designated Consulate General Frankfurt as the primary processing location for Ukrainians. Those applying for IR-3 or 4 adoption visas should submit their applications at the U.S. Embassy Warsaw. For Russia, U.S. Embassy Moscow has suspended all immigrant visa services. The U.S. Embassy in Warsaw is processing immigrant visas for residents of Russia. Visa services at U.S. consulates in Yekaterinburg and Vladivostok remain suspended due to critically low staffing. If you have already received an appointment notice for somewhere other than Warsaw, email support Poland at ustraveldocs.com to have your case transferred. For Vietnam, the U.S. Embassy in Hanoi has resumed all visa services. Non-immigrant and immigrant visa interviews have slowly started to resume. All 221 grams applicants may go to the U.S. Consulate General in Ho Chi Minh City for an interview anytime between 8.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday except holidays. The consulate will see 221 grams applicants on a first-come, first-served basis. For Indonesia, the U.S. Embassy in Jakarta is offering immigrant visa services in all categories. The U.S. Embassy in Jakarta and Consulate General Surabaya have resumed limited appointments for all non-immigrant visa categories. And for Canada, visa services vary by city. The U.S. Embassy and Consulates in Canada have resumed U.S. citizen services and most non-immigrant visa services. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!